Hey there, so this time I would like you to design your travel brochure. This is actually a writing task, but I'm not going to ask you to write on a piece of paper. I would like you to do it on Google Slide. So here already it says Easter holiday is coming, but actually it's over. But anyway, your company is going to organize a two-day trip for tourists to explore any country or city you like. Design a travel brochure to promote the two-day trip to that country or city. And this mind map is to help you. So you can see for the brochure, you need to design the cover. You need to have the name of the company, the title, contact details. And then the main important, the most important thing is the contact, the name of the tour, important details, and itinerary and also the back cover, maybe you've got some special offers and some booking information. And remember, remember to use positive adjectives, be clear and precise, and include attractive pictures. And I'm going to give you one example. So first of all, you have to think about the country or city that you like most. So I will choose Tokyo, Japan. And then you have to find at least two famous tourist attractions. Of course, you can find more because like for day one, maybe you want to go to more places. So it's your choice. Okay. I'm just giving you an example. And if you don't know about the famous tourist attraction, you can always Google, right? So for example, here you can go to, uh, I've thought of two famous places in, in Tokyo, the Ueno Park and Zoo and also the Tokyo Sky Tree. And then I have to think about uh, the company name, the title of the tool and the itinerary and also the important details to get people's attention. You can always go back to the brochure that it's printed on your LELE and you can just go back to um, the video that I've made before and take a look as well. And then this is my example. It's not the best, but I'm just trying to make an example for you to take a look. So I've got the name of the tools, it's called Janet Tools, and then the title, and then some um, description that I use some positive adjectives here, and then I've got some contact details, and then you have to think about day one and day two. I will not help you think about that. Just give you an example. And then the back cover, like you will get a free cap when you book two weeks in advance and then i've got some booking information so it's that's pretty easy and i hope you find joy when you design the travel brochure and next i will tell you how to actually use google slide to do that so first of all you have to log into google classroom you find the classwork and it's here press view assignment and read the instructions and watch the video that I made for you, the instruction videos I made for you here. And then if you really want to work on the Google slide, you have to click this one, your work here. You click on it. And then you will see I've already given you the first page. Here I would like you to type your name, class and class number so you can add it here. So for example, that it's my name and also my class number 30, okay, and 40 class like this. And then for the first page, that is your cover, right? And then you need to find a really good picture. How can I find it? Just Google it. So uh, for example, that's Tokyo for my example. And then I look for images that I like. Uh, that's pretty cool, cool, this one. Okay, so what I'll do is I will just right click and just copy the image and then I go back and then I paste the image here. Yeah, it's that easy. And then I have to write, uh, I have to think of the, um, the company name, right? It's the J J N that I've thought of. So this is how you do it. So here you can find the shapes and then you can find an awful shape, okay? But then you'll see like this. If you don't like the great one, here is where you change 
this color. It can be transparent, means no color, or you can find the color on it. And then you can adjust the size. And then you just keep clicking this one, and then you can type um, letters. And then you can change the fonts. I love to use another fonts. For example, like this one, you can change the font size and then you write your type again it's called Janet tools and then of course you can't see it because it's black in color so you have to change the text color as well you change it here I will choose this one and then again choose another font and then choose the font size make it pretty that that's easy right this is how you do it but sometimes if you find that oh I want to put something under or above maybe sometimes you cannot see it because it's behind the picture how do you do it you just right click can you see that's order right bring to back and bring to front if you send to back you will not see it right and then if you change the order to bring to front now you can see it so this is actually how you play with the shapes and fonts and words this is how you do it so I hope you don't find it too difficult to use um, the Google slide and remember you don't have to save because it's already saved here so after you finish everything so assume that I've finished everything I just close the file please remember you have to hand in your work you always forgot to press the button hand in so press hand in and press hand in so I can see your work. Okay, so this is how you do it. So I hope you can make some really pretty travel brochure and then your teacher will be surprised. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye.